Happy Father's Day, everybody. It is Sunday, June 18th. Uh, it is late afternoon, 6, 7 o'clock, something like that. I wanted to give you guys a flea market finds video. What we bought this week, uh, what we bought today. Hopefully we have some more stuff coming. But uh, this stuff will go into the auction this week. I probably will do one day. Pam will do the other two. And let's go out and take a look and see what we got. So obviously the weather's really nice today. Not too, too bad. It was a little hot earlier. But as I said earlier, happy Father's Day to everybody that are fathers or caregivers. Okay, let's see what happened. Oh, look at that. It's a thing of beauty. What we do. A whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to open the garage door so that I have a table to put the stuff on and show you guys. And get it kind of ready for the auction. But let's just put it this way. A lot of really awesome die cast. Large, um, large model die cast. Like this is a 143rd scale Crown Victoria. So those are probably like 125th. Um, die cast from Motor Max and from Jada for the Just Trucks. There's uh, the truck from Bucky's, Transformers, uh, another Transformers right there. Those are large, awesome piece of pottery, an original Genesis controller in the box, uh, old store display, some jewelry, some other stuff. Let me get it out and then I'll show it, show you guys and go over it with you. So give me just a second. Okay, so. Got everything in, so let me show you guys what I bought, and then I'll show you what Kim bought, because we're kind of going to compete a little bit, just to see what you guys like. Uh, see if you guys enjoy it. So, obviously I bought more, because it's just what I do. So, we'll go over what I bought, and then we'll show you what she bought, so it's fresh. Comment below what you guys like that we bought. I'm pretty sure we're going to bring everything straight to you guys on YouTube this week. This is kind of the model that I want to have. Uh, we go out and buy stuff. I show you guys what we bought or we unbox stuff from the warehouse. I show it to you guys. We don't do any research. We bring it to the auction that week. You guys get great deals. So I usually tell you what I pay for stuff. Um, I'll try to go over it. All of the die cast I got from one guy. It was 225 or 250 It was 250 with the the pops stuff so this is what we got these are all larger scale so these are 127th so these are pretty big some of these are really good um there's an m2 that's like hot wheels or matchbox there's bucky's there was transformers there's an x-men truck so lots of other really awesome die casts so there's an optimus prime the Just Trucks are by Jada, which is a good company. So, and then we got, what, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 20, 24, 27 trucks of the larger size. And then we got this awesome concert U2 Zoo TV Tour Funko Pop Set, which is awesome. I really love this Optimus Prime. Uh, it may not make it to the auction because I have a buddy in Pennsylvania that really likes that stuff. And I think it would be cool. His birthday's coming up, so it may go to him. We'll see. Um, and he might like this one better. Don't know. And then there is a giant car. American Muscle. Okay, so let's show you a few of the other things that we bought. So we got this cool... Sega Genesis six button controller in the box. You got this awesome Empire Strikes Back hat. It has the original hang tags. I got this cute little brooch. And I believe it is marked in the center. Or the back of the head. I think this is sterling. It was a dollar. The hat was four. Um, this is a three piece South Bend bamboo fishing rod it was twenty dollars a vintage one with a tube what else the sega genesis controller was seven dollars she had ten on it i think and said she'd do seven 
this was awesome. Um, you know, it kind of looks pretty plain from the outside, but when you open it up, you'll love Spellbound Stretch Nylon Panties with the Dolly Madison original labels on them. There are numerous original panties in the box. Easily washed, quick dried. So I think there's five original panties. Size Fits all sizes, four to seven is what it says. But really awesome Dolly Madison vintage nylon panties, probably 1940s or so. Original store display. I think that was $20. So I think that's what we got as far as regular stuff. All of the cars, the die cast was $250 with the uh, Funko set, which I figured I averaged out was $8 a piece. And then all the small stuff was kind of the throw in. Um, and I didn't count this. So that's cool. Then I paid $220 for this binder. Um, the binder's awesome. It is, the guy's mother um, actually collected these. He has another album that he's going to bring me probably next week that is going to be musicians and sports. Um, but she was really good. Her name was Michelle. I think there's two pieces in here to somebody else that she just bought and wanted. But she did cutouts of everything, and she used to mail off for the autographs. And you can see they're all to her. And there's who it is. Zena Bethune. So there's multiples in some of these. And we think there's around 175 autographs. Um, all gotten by her. So here you go, Betsy Palmer. And there's Betsy Palmer's autograph. Dorothy Loudon. So there's some really good autographs. This is Helen Gurley. Richard Egan. Um, you'll see there to Michelle, which was his mother's name. And then there's more back behind these. You can see back there is either like an article or other autograph pieces. Butch Bonnie, Florence Anderson, uh, Florence Anderson and all the Brady Bunch. There's Shirley Jones. There's like three or four autographs from her. So Dorothy McGuire with her puppy dog, Marco Polo. Debbie Reynolds, a few of her. Um, can't read her name. But the autographs are pretty awesome. You can see. There you go. William Wirt, Wandum, Wandum, Eleanor Parker, Alex Rocco, there's Faye Ray from uh, King Kong, this is her obituary, Teresa Brewer, so some of them are older, uh, some of them are 70s, uh, there was a couple that she bought, Imogene Coca, 92's dead partner, one of TV's most Successful comedy teams, and this one was actually to someone else. He said there was like three in here that weren't to his mom. And this is his dad's name, Robert. So, William Buckley Jr. dies, Art Linkletter, so Jack Carter. I mean, there's just amazing vintage autographs. And 70s autographs, a lot of 70s. Um, and then, you know, people who pass away, Conrad Bryan from different strokes. There you go. Maldine. Anthony Quinn. Nancy Richard. George Nader. Who's that one? Victor Mature. So there was a ton of autographs, and I think the purchase price 
being what it was was just an awesome buy. Uh, like I said, there were 175 autographs or so. I'm not sure if we'll do this in like lots. I'll just open up the binder. We'll throw five or ten in a tray, starting at the front, going to the back, or mixing around. And sell them off that way, or if I'm going to sell off the whole collection. You guys let me know in the comments if you want me to bring it to auction as a collection. Obviously, um, I would have to start it right around what I paid for it, like $225 or $250, um, because of the free shipping. But, you know, I'll risk it. Uh, or if you guys would rather buy in smaller lots, I can definitely do that. I will stand behind all of the autographs, um, that they're no facsimiles. So, you can see they're all much shell for the 99% of them. So, I think that's the guy from Waterboy. Joe Montagna. So, now, like this one is an old card. But then that's her real signature up here. Like this was a send away. Tim Daly's Joe Hackett. So, so this will be an awesome collection. But like I said, I want you guys to let me know if you want it as a whole collection to keep it together or if you guys want it individually obviously the majority is going to rule on this but let us know what you guys think um like i said i'll stand behind these autographs just because the guy got them from you know they were his mother so he showed me some stuff uh, actually 167 autographs i thought he said 176 but it was early and it was hot okay let's show you what kim picked up she picked up a 1970s Shirley Temple doll in the box. She picked up this pig cast iron coat hanger, but she picked this up for Pam. This is going to be a gift for Pam. She picked up this 1960s Snoopy figure doll. These two Victorian, so they're like right around 1880 to about 1910. These are silver plate baby rattles. She picked up this huge group of cufflinks which was pretty neat. And she picked up this awesome medical syringe with filler, has the glass tube in it, just kind of cool. No needles, but everything else in the original like wooden box is awesome. And then this, I don't remember if she picked this up or if this is just something we had. Um, you can see here, this is a bunch of like Godzilla and Ultraman these are large cards. These were like tradable cards or for a game from Japan. So that's from Ultraman. Ultraman. There's Ultraman, Ultra 7. Um, so these are pretty awesome. These are early. These are like 60s or early 70s. So there are hundreds of these. And these are really tough to find uh, in the States. Look at that. That is Gigantor. Tetrogen 28. That is the original pack that that came in right there. So I think these are called Minko, maybe? But look, these are like 60s and early 70s. Pretty awesome. There's Superman. There's Batman. So this is a great collection. Um, I'm really excited about bringing this to the auctions it's an original package for some of this so we're gonna have that and we will be on this week tuesday wednesday and thursday from 1 until 4 30 p.m eastern standard time so we'll have that stuff uh, i did pick up also a big old piece of pottery it's like majolica but pretty awesome and i think that's it so if you guys would hit that thumbs up like share subscribe and most of all, comment below. Let me know um, autograph collection, sell as a whole, or, you know, kind of piece it out, five, ten pieces at a time, just to make it more affordable for some people. 
And then let me know what you saw that you're really excited about or what you think was a great buy for the day and what you're excited about to see in the auction. And if you think that Kim's going to do better than me on any profit that we make. I didn't tell you guys what she paid because I honestly don't know. I just gave her $125 to walk around with this morning. And she came back. She gave me $65 back. So I know she, sent, she spent $60 altogether. So hope that's helpful. And we will see everybody later. Thank you for watching. Again, make sure to comment below. Thank you guys. Hope you have a great Father's Day and a good weekend.